Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when the hope shall sing its triumph. The sadness came away, dear Savior. Haste, come, come to work, despair the night and show your face and bid us. Come Divine Messiah. That was our hymn for today, this, this beautiful Advent hymn, this beautiful Advent carol that, once again, is all about the coming of our Divine Messiah. And we talked, I think, in our very first video about the fact that, that come, that word and that idea is going to be prevalent throughout so many of the things that we think about, so many of the things that we sing about, you know, during our videos and during our time together. And this is another great example. O Come Divine Messiah. And what really strikes me about this one comes in, in the end, the second half maybe of that first line. We hear, O come divine Messiah, great beginning, and then the world in silence waits the day. Now that one struck me because this world in silence is one that I know for myself, I struggle to find, and maybe it's the same for you. You know, we are running around, we're doing all sorts of things, we have all sorts of, you know, sounds and noises and music and this, that, and the other thing that, that take away from that silence sometimes, that can really have the effect of saying, well, I'm going to fill up all this time and, you know, not have any of it for God. And of course, that's not what we want to do. That's not who we want to be. And so our hope is that we can be the world in silence, this, this world that's being quiet, that's preparing, that is, you know, in, in a really profound way, just pausing for a second and saying, Lord, I'm here waiting, listening for you. You know, if we can do that during our Advent season, what an incredible thing that will be. It what an incredible way for us to really, truly prepare and get ourselves ready for Christmas. And so my brothers and sisters, we prepare, we say, oh, come divine Messiah, but then we stop and we listen. 
We ask him into our hearts and into our lives so that this truly can be a world in silence, so that it truly can be a place for our Lords to enter, and so that the season of Advent might be a good one of preparation, of waiting for our Lord to come on Christmas.